Hello everyone. Happy Halloween. As you can tell, it's Halloween. I got my I got my sweater on. <laughs> you can see my little down a little bit. Let's see. Got my little got my little spider there. <laughs> we don't get any trick or treaters or anything, so I don't have any grandkids, so um we just stay home and hang out. <laughs> we live kind of on a busy street, so we don't get any trick-or-treaters. We don't get any trick-or-treaters. But anyway, um, so I'm kind of in I'm, my pumpkin festival that I've talked about in the last several videos went really well. Thank you guys for some of you guys came, were able to come out and uh, say hi. And uh, I sure appreciate it. It's, you know, it's so kind of you guys to do that. <laughs> And it's, and it's nice to break up the day when, you know, you can talk to somebody. Because Saturday was really busy. Um, did really well on Saturday. Sunday was a little slower. But um, I didn't have, a, you know, I didn't have a whole lot of uh, stuff left. But these sold like crazy. <laughs> well, the remember the pumpkin plates with the, the orange? Same gloss as this. This is the Western Rusty Orange Art. It is number four five five one. <laughs> um, the plates with the stems on them that were this color, I only had like eight or ten. They sold in a couple hours. They were gone. Um, so that was good. The hand painted plates did not sell as well, and I'm not sure why. Maybe it was that you know, maybe it was my painting. They didn't you know, they didn't like my painting on it. I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of hard, you know. Um, one of the things about selling at art fairs is you never know whether to make what sells or make what you want to make, make what you like making, love making. So it's really, it's really a, a fine line. Um, you know, my Scentsy Bowls, I didn't sell one Scentsy Bowl. Ah. I thought they were so cute. But, you know, it might not be that event because I was in Indiana. Well, I don't know if that's really Indiana there. It's kind of right on the border. I don't think it's Indiana, but it's close. But maybe they weren't in the mode for that. In the mood? Mode? Anyway. Um, but I sold probably, gosh, I don't know, 40 or 50 of these, <laughs> these little guys. Um, I sold them for $15. Which, you know, um, I probably don't make a lot of money on that because there's not a lot of clay here. But there's clay, glaze, two firings, and then my time to make them. Um, so, you know, when you figure all that in, you know, unless you make them really fast. But they're not hard to make. But anyway, but I, I wanted to um, show you how I make these little pumpkins. And... Um, What's nice about these is I do not put faces on them. So, you know, in my mind, you can use them for Thanksgiving. Um, yeah, the jack o I never put faces on my pumpkins. Just um, just because, you know, they're only good for things, or they're only good for Halloween. And um, I think they're great to put around for Thanksgiving, too. Um, and one of these, one of the things you can do with these, too, is um, I haven't done it, but I thought it'd be so cute, is... Um, put a little slit in the top to put uh, name cards and then everybody's place at Thanksgiving dinner gets a pumpkin and their name card. Wouldn't that be cute? I thought about doing that. But see, I don't, I don't hold Thanksgiving at my house. Um, I go to my brother's house. <laughs> so, but I enjoy hosting and stuff, but we're kind of home buddies, you know, we don't, anyway. <laughs> so, but yeah, that would be a great, um, I'll set that right there. That would be a great thing to do. Um, is make, you know, place card, make them like place card holders. So what I do is, okay, so I'm going to make a ball here. I make them, they're basically just a pinch pot, but I don't, I don't pinch out like some people do. I cut mine in half. Okay. And then, and then 
I'm going to pinch it from that way. So this is about, this whole ball is probably, um, probably about a pound and a quarter, maybe. I got a scale around here somewhere. Let's see here. Yeah, it's about a pound and a half. This is about a pound and a half. So if you're cutting this in half, what is that? Um, three quarters of a pound. So that's all you really need. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch it out like that. See that? And I'm just going to go around just like I would a pinch pot. And you want to keep moving it. And as you're doing it, Kind of look at your sides, okay, to try to keep even, even sides here. And then as I'm pinching it, I'm kind of pulling it in. And I'm just going to kind of work that like that. Before I get too far, this is how I do my stems. I used to add my stems on the top, but now I don't. Um, I hope you can see down here, okay? So I'm going to take this top, I'm going to pinch it. Look at that. So that's how I get my top. Okay, so now I'm going to pinch continue to pinch this all the way around and see how I'm just kind of working my way I'm going to pinch and pull it down pinch and just pull it down like that you can tap it look see how that just curves it back in so the amount of clay you're using um, doesn't really matter how much you're using. The more, the bigger the pumpkin, you know, the more clay you want to use. And so, so I just keep <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, but our we've got a big six foot Grim Reaper guy in our front window. <laughs> And the cats keep setting him off. So it's it's, it's kind of eerie um, <laughs> to have the Grim Reaper constantly saying, you know, goodbye, come with me. <laughs> Can you hear that laugh? <laughs> oh, gosh. One night, he just kept going off. I think the wind was blowing outside and uh, kept setting him off and I was I was trying to I was in bed sleeping and I could hear him and I'm like oh man that's just too much I had to go turn him off <laughs> he gave me the creeps so okay so then I've got a spoon if I can find my spoon I think I might have I think I might have used it for something so What did I do with that? Here's, here's another one. Here's a, I'll just use one of these spoons. And this is just, this just kind of smooths out the, uh, my thumbprints and fingerprints. I hope you guys are all doing well. We'll be doing a Christmas tree video here soon because I am in the Christmas mode for pottery anyway. Not okay, so so now I'm gonna take this. Now this one's pretty tall and skinny. So if I wanted this one tall and skinny, I would have kept this a little bit um, you know, more narrower around the base here. So, so I'm going to take my hands now, and I'm just going to pinch in all the way around. Oh, gosh. 
gosh. <laughs> it would have to go off now when I'm trying to do a video, wouldn't it? <laughs> it's, uh, Molly likes to go up underneath the cape of him and hide, and she's probably setting him off. So now once you get it turned in like this, okay, don't worry about what the bottom looks like. I mean, it's a pumpkin. <laughs> Gosh. So then you just set it down like this. And you can, you can tap in the sides a little bit if you want. You can, you know, kind of just tuck that clay underneath there like that. Yeah, see how that turns in like that? Really nice. So then, I'm going to take my spoon and I'm just going to put some indentations here for the stem. kind of see the indentations up there. Next, I'm going to take, now I use one of these. Um, I also, what works really nice is a paintbrush, the, the uh, handle of a paintbrush. So since everybody has a paintbrush, I'll just use a paintbrush. So I start up at the top and I just work the indentation in and don't worry if you um, you know make it not round you know because we can you can fix that later then just go around like that I really I like big indentations you don't have to have big indentations but I do and just keep going around here I'll do one more here. Just kind of gently work that in. You don't you don't want to you don't want to go like this and scrape it down because then you're going to make this inside really thin where the creases are. Oops. Really thin where the creases are and it can crack. So you don't want that. So by just pressing it, you're basically just pushing that clay in rather than making it thin. Make sure you guys are in the picture here. Yeah, these, um, there we go. And even even they don't have to be round. I mean, to me, the wonkier a pumpkin, the better. <laughs> so now I'm going to take. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I'm going to put some indentations in the. Let's see what I got here. I use the end of this tool. These little wooden tools are nice. I use these for all sorts of things. There's, um, this one's really nice too. It's got a nice, uh, it's not a sharp point, which is nice. In fact, maybe I'll use that. So on my stem, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually dip this in water, get a little wet, and I'm just gonna scratch this up to make it look like a stem and then and I used to have let me see if I've got it here now there's my star 
to make my stars. That's another video. Um, oh, let's see. Let me look. I had I made a tool that makes a little circle in this in the top, but I don't know where that's at. Anyway, so then you can take the top, and if you want, I just do like a little circle up here. There you go. See that? And then it looks a little more, more realistic. Now I'm going to take a sponge. I'm just going to smooth it down a little bit. Get any last finger marks out of there. These are so fun to make, and they'd be good if you have any children. Teach them how to make a pinch pot. Oh, there's Millie. She heard me talking, I guess. I rolled out some uh, a whole slab of clay over here next to me to make some plates. I need to make a bunch of plates. I had some requests for more Cincinnati plates. Um, so I'm trying to let the, the slab of clay dry out a little bit. I want it to be a little bit stiffer when I make my plates and trying to keep the kitty cat paw prints out of there. <laughs> so I've got a blanket on there. I'm hoping that works. She's such a stink pot. Okay, so now I've got a little bit extra clay here that I kept aside. And I always make three leaves. And to do that, just make a ball and when I make that it usually comes out you know kind of like that it doesn't really come out like a ball which is perfect because then I just kind of press it between my fingers a little bit so I just lay that in my hand and see how it comes out like that I just squeeze a little bit let's make another one A little bit bigger one. I'm just gonna pat it down just a little bit, not all the way. Okay, then I'm gonna take a little bit more and then I'm gonna roll it, and that's gonna give me the little curly cue. And even even these, I don't want them to be um, you know too too perfect. I don't want them to be too round because they're just supposed to be you know, a little a vine hanging down and then what I do is I, I'm going to dip this in my water there we go I'm going to dip this in my water over here and I'm just going to whoop I'm going to lay it down here so that when I curl it up it doesn't crack it's going to it might crack a little bit but I'm not worried about that Okay, so I'm going to take the bag of here, and so here's my little leaf. I'm going to dip my serrated rib, and I'm just going to kind of scratch the back a little bit. You don't need to add a whole lot of water. This is damp clay. So I'm going to stick this on my pumpkin. Take the next one. Just I'm just scoring the back a little bit and see how it's kind of wet. It kind of creates its own slip. Just gonna dab that on there like that. And do the do the third one. Yeah, the kids would love making these. I do um, some classes down at the Dunham Recreation Center with three to five year olds, and the biggest they love making them. But the biggest trick is. Um, taking them away from them before they smash them because <laughs> they like making things and then they, then they like smashing them <laughs> it's so funny 
Okay, so now I'm going to use this tool. Um, you can use, you know, really whatever you want. But see how the leaves are on there? This helps stick them down. I'm just going to add that down to that. You can use, uh, if you've got a real thin paintbrush uh, handle, you could probably use that too. Um, you can use anything really. But it really helps adhere them too if you do it on the pumpkin. There you go. Okay, now I'm going to try to look for the side that needs a little extra something. I think I'll turn it this way. And then I'm going to take this a little wormy here. This is probably a little long. And I'm just going to kind of curl it like this. Like I said, don't worry if they're not perfectly round or if they crack a little bit. I mean, we're talking about a vine or a pumpkin. So, just like that. And then I'm going to kind of dab the back of this with my, my finger with water on it. And I'm going to attach it to the pumpkin here. Now, I, um, I smash them on here kind of good. Mainly because when I'm transporting them, I don't want them to break off. So I don't like big I don't like big loops on there. And then I got a little bit left here, so I think I'll do another little one. Let me make it a little bit skinnier. Okay. I'm gonna dip it back in water here. And then I'm gonna see how I, I started I just kind of curl it around. Because it's kind of stuck to my finger on the other side. <laughs> oh. There we go. And I think I'll stick this on the other side. I'm going to wipe the, uh, kind of smooth the stem down a little bit, get rid of those sharp edges. Is everybody getting ready for the holidays? I know it's sometimes it's kind of hard to, hard to get into the holidays with all this stuff going on in the world. It's very, um, it makes you very thankful for where we live. You almost feel guilty for living in such a wonderful place as America or any other, you know, safe place in the U.S. I mean in the country, in the world. <laughs> But uh, my heart goes out to these war-torn countries. So, okay. Now, what do you think? So, I'm going to show you the top. And then, look at that. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Most potters who make these little pumpkins, they don't put the leaves and the, um, the curly cues on there, but I just think they're adorable. So let's make another one. He's a short, fat guy. So if you want to make a more narrow one, let's. I'm going to take this ball and I'm going to just kind of make it a little more narrower. I'll make it easier to keep it narrow if you start out with it being a little more narrow. All right. Okay, see? So, just a little more narrow than the other one. Then I'm going to start out the same way. I'm just going to put my thumbs in there and open it up, get it started. And then I'm going to just go around 
like that. Now I'm going to try to keep this narrow, so I'm going to try to pull this towards the center. You can see what I'm doing here. And I'm just turning it, and I'm looking at how, see how I'm trying to keep the sides the same thickness as I go around? And you don't want to get this too thin because you are going to put those indentations down the side. So don't make it so thin that when you make the indentations, you, um, what? You hear Millie? Millie's checking out the... She's checking out the paint I got here. I was painting painting some plastic plates, charger plates before for Christmas. I thought that'd be something fun and something a little a little different. Okay, so I'm just gonna walk around walk around. I'm looking at her walking around. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna go around in circles here until I get it the thickness. And if, it getting, if it's getting too fat, and you want a more narrow one, just squeeze it in, just like you would a pot on the wheel. Just turn it like that. I'm trying to get some of this <clears throat> try to get some of this weight from down here. Bring that to the end here. And I'm just kind of making it keeping it narrow. And I can feel the thickness. I can feel where it's thick. And then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna squeeze where I feel it's thicker. Okay, so now He's probably going to end up being, I don't have a whole lot of clay, so he's not going to be a real big pumpkin. I'm going to try to make him a little tall and narrower. So now, I'm just going to turn all these in. And this clay is it's cracking a little bit because it's been sitting here. I'm just going to go around and pinch all that in like that. See how that looks? See it's all in like that. So now I'm just going to take it, I'm going to set it down and just kind of tap it. This is going to end up being a little fat pumpkin too, I think. <laughs> <clears throat> A short and fat one too. I should have had more clay to make a taller one. So see, then you just turn those under like that. Okay, and then I'm going to squeeze the top. And if you want a much longer stem, then you can um, remember to leave more weight. More weight is in more clay at the bottom here. Okay. Sticking my finger up in there a little bit to try to make him a little taller and narrower. But okay. So now take my spoon, I'm gonna dip it in water. I'm just gonna 
Make some indentations here for the stem. Hope you can see what I'm doing. There we go. I'm going to take my sponge and just smooth this down a little bit because, like I said, it was cracking a little bit. I'm just going to kind of continue to smooth down where I see little cracks. Yeah, so stay stay tuned for a Christmas tree video. I did promise you guys that. And I bought the um, mold for that today. Um, I'll show that to you. I was using styrofoam, but I bought this at Hobby Lobby today. They got all their Christmas stuff, like 40 or 50% off. This is cardboard. I wish, it was, like I said, I was using styrofoam, but um, it doesn't stick to this, which I may still wrap newspaper around here. But um, if you want to get ready, you want to get a cardboard thing to make your own Christmas tree. That's what I did. I just went over to Hobby Lobby and bought that. And I do. I think I like those better than the styrofoam. But like I said, I am going to put newspaper around it still. Just to be sure I can get it off. You do not want to go to all the trouble of making these trees. And then have it. Um, you can't get it off the, the mold. I'm sure you've all done that before. Or maybe not. So now I'm just putting some indentations, just scratching up the stem here. So it looks like a an old stem, a real stem. And I'm gonna put my little curly cue on the top. I'm gonna take my sponge and just kind of smooth that down a little bit. doesn't really matter what order you do all this in. Alrighty. There's the top. So now I'm going to take, I think this time maybe I'll try it. Well, I think this time I'll try this. See what that does. So I'm going to start at the top and work my way down, kind of just, like I said, I'm just kind of pressing in here and then let's do another one here. Goes. It might work better to run at the bottom, but it doesn't really matter. I do it both ways. See, I just kind of push up in there. I'll do, I think I'll do one more. There 
go. Just kind of push it up in there. There we go. Okay, then you can re-round it if it's not round or reshape it to whatever shape you want. I'm going to take my, my sponge and just kind of smooth the rough edges. Has anybody been watching the Hallmark movies? They got Christmas on already, and I've been watching Christmas movies. Oh my gosh, I'll be I'll be burnt out by Thanksgiving, but I just love watching those things. I get so addicted. Everything always ends up happy. <laughs> oh, it's so nice to you know watch a movie and know it's gonna have a happy ending. Okay, so. I'm going to take three, three little chunks of clay for my leaves. And you can make these, you know, really as big as you want. And then I'm going to make my little wormy. There you go. Now I'm going to dip it in the water. I'm just going to lay it here, let it soak up a little bit of water. If it was really wet, then I wouldn't have to do that. But I'll make my leaves. I'm going to smash it down. I think these leaves are a little bit bigger than the other ones, but it doesn't really matter. There we go. All right, now I got a little bit of clay left over here. Okay, I'm gonna get my serrated nut, serrated rib. For those of you um, who were watching I guess it was the last video I did. Um, I was telling you about Millie that her um, her one eye was getting cloudy, and so my husband was supposed to take her to the vet. Uh, I guess it's been has it been two weeks ago now? No, I think it was last weekend. Um, no, it was two two weekends ago. Um, he was supposed to take her to the vet. To have her eye checked, but that little stink pot wouldn't go in the cage. So my son and my husband chased it, chased Millie around for a while. Oh, and they could not get her in that cage for nothing. So they had to cancel the appointment until I came home, and um, then I took her on Tuesday. But they said it's a that cats can get um, like an herpes, herpes virus when they're um, strays and I guess or feral, you know, when they, if cats have been out on the street, um, he said probably, I think he said like 90 some percent of feral cats and rescued cats have this herpes and he said it kind of depends on you know, how strong the immune system is in their body. And they can, you know, come out and make their eyes cloudy. And then it, you know, kind of comes and goes. And he thinks that's all it is. So that's a, that's a good thing. Because I was so worried about her. She's the one that got the double vaccinations accidentally. Okay. So now, remember, I'm going to take this. And I'm going to. Did I didn't, oh, I used, um, I think I used this the last time, didn't I? I'm talking. Oh, I went too far. I cut it in half. Don't go too far. Or you'll have two leaves. I'll put this in here. So, yeah, it was so funny. So he couldn't get her in the cage. And, uh, so he gave up on it. And he, um, uh, he turned around. 
and there's Molly, the wrong cat, sleeping in a cage. <laughs> she went in there to sleep. <laughs> oh, goodness. But Millie, Millie would have none of it. Okay, so I've got my leaves on there. And now I just have to add my... I can get it. This is this is kind of long. I'm gonna cut it in half again, so then I can just do two of them. So here's how I do this. I'm just gonna push the end down and get it started like that, and then it kind of sticks to my fingers, so I can kind of just curl it around. Like that, there we go. You can kind of twist it if you want them, the cur curls to be smaller. So this is kind of sticky, so I'm not even gonna have to stick it in the water. So I'm just gonna take this and stick it on here. And just kind of tap it down with my finger. And then let's do the next one. I'm going to thin it out just a little bit here. We went out to eat this morning for breakfast, my husband and I. We left Christopher at home. And uh, we went to uh, Frisch's. And uh, <laughs> the uh, heat was out. Well, today is a really cold day here in Cincinnati. I think it was that went down to 29 last night, so we had our first hard freeze. Okay, I'm going to show you that. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's jumping out of my hand. Um, so watch this. So here we do this. So it was only like 48 degrees when we went to Frisch's. And uh, it was it was cold eating our food there. We stayed. But uh, you had to eat fast. Or and I had to keep my coat on. So no one saw my pretty sweater. <laughs> here we go. All right, and I'm gonna put this one on here, just like that. And then I'm just gonna tap it down. Make sure when you put these on, if you ever put these curly cues on, make sure you tap the bottom down. Because you've curled this clay, okay, it's got a memory, so it's gonna to wanna to try to uncurl. And it's gonna to wanna to try to lift off of here. And that's the way with anything, you know, um, especially something that's thin like that and you've really manipulated it. So there you go. There's the two we made. Ah, let's see if I can hold them in there. I got big hands. I got my dad's hands. <laughs> here we go. And then here, now again, this is the Western um, Rusty Orange Art. And you can use any any orange glaze. I kind of like this, um, but it is runny. So um, one year I made a whole bunch of these and I dipped these in the uh, rusty orange art and I held them in too long and they all ran. But now these, I know better now because you don't want to, you don't want it thick anyway. You want it um, very, you want this glaze on thin if you, if you want it orange. So anyway. That is them. Oh, let's see if I can set them down without dropping them. Yeah, so I sold a whole bunch of this. This go over, you know, people. People like pumpkins, so yeah. So there you go. So now you guys know how to make a pinch pot pumpkin. And I think I, there is a um, people ask me about a video for the the bigger pumps pumpkins that I make. Um, I call them windowsill pumpkins because they're narrow and they can fit on um, a ledge, a mantle, a windowsill. They're not, you know, like a big round pumpkin that you can't, you know, your windowsills are narrow. We can't fit them on there. We're getting clay all over this little guy. Um, but yeah, so I'm thinking too, um, I'm going to make some snowmen this way. <laughs> So what do you think about that? I've got a 
an idea to make some snowmen. Maybe make two of these. One, you know, I don't know. What do you think? Oh, got to make some in the thing. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I have to make some and see. But um, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please share. It helps my numbers. And I, I think I'm almost like, I think I'm almost to 4,000. It's like, you know, which isn't a lot in the main, you know, in the big world, but it is for me. <laughs> but anyway, so there you go. Um, happy Halloween. And um, I will see you in the next video. And um, like I said, I, I can't decide if it'll be the Christmas Christmas trees. We'll see. I get these cool stars too. Look at this real quick. I know I get off I get off track on it. I make these I make these stars. What do you think about that? These are just they're simple though. Just a slab of clay. And I hand I hand cut these out. But if you look, see the indentations? They're stars. So I made a star in I made a ah uh, I can't talk. I made a star stamp. See, it's just a wedge of clay. I put some holes in it so it would dry out. But yeah, so you can do that. And then you can put so your star can have a star texture. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys have a great a great day and take care. And um, thank you so much for watching. I sure appreciate you guys. Your guys are all so sweet. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs>